Hey people, back in with another video about mortgage loan, car loans, and credits. I already made another video about doing your research in time. Um, negotiate your stuff to the best point. I believe a doc on the bottom of there. If you want to give me more description of your situation, like I said, in my video, you can email me or text me or comment. Um, I'm not a qualified person. I do this as I go along, let you know. But usually I keep myself up on that level. Um, when you go for a mortgage or a loan or something like that, look at all your options. Every option out there, even ones that are out of space. Get the worst option and get the best options. And then and get the time frame of the things you want, the time frame of might be. A type in actuality and then uh, keep it legal. Um, then know your range of money coming, of guarantee money coming in, and money coming out, and then and the money that does not might not come in, might not come out. Once you didn't do that, uh, do your research in term of an agreement. Find the option that is best for you. If you are in that not my, not much of my money situation, then you need to do everything I said, then find out which option work best for you. That includes the best and the worst option within the range that I allocate to you and then go for what you think is best for you. This is in my opinion, people, I don't know. If you in the immediate home line, then you need to go for that best option that will work for you. If you are super rich, you can do everything here, but in the, the day, you need to go to the best option for yourself. If if you are in a situation where you're one person trying to get a 19-bedroom house and you would never use those rooms for anything, you just want them because they're... Unless you're claustrophobic, you have no need, and then, in my opinion, they, that's will be a situation where a state or country should make a law about that. If you are rich, sometimes people buy houses or extra houses or vacation houses. They never use it just for a case in the future. That is taking up the space for other people who need that house. Uh, for me, I'm getting a seven-bedroom house. Because I know I will be using that space. I have people and I'm claustrophobic. So, yeah, that's my plan. But, you know, I'm not putting all my ducks in the eggs. When you get a mortgage or loans, make sure you get the best amount for you. Make sure your installments are low. Make sure your interest rate is low. Make sure your APR is low. All that stuff. Make sure it's best for you. I'm saying not to be greedy, but I'm saying make it best option for you. There is no law that I know of where it says you have to go for this option. If you are being truthful by everything, and you're giving the exact documents that is needed for that situation. And you can get a better option within that range. Then you should go for it. You have no need to settle. Don't forget people. Go for your best options. Alright. Negotiating mortgage and loans. Have fun people.